Hi, this is Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and welcome to the Shop Update Series Episode 13. Uh, this is going to be a really short video this week, guys. Um, for those of you who uh, follow me on uh, on social media, uh, you probably have seen that I've been out of town most of the week. Uh, I had a great time. It was actually a field trip with my daughter. We were out uh, at a place out on the coast in North Carolina called Camp Donnelly, and uh, it was a heck of a lot of fun. But it didn't leave much time for the shop. Um, that being said, I did get a couple of projects done. I, one of which I believe I have to go back and look. Yeah. Uh, so last week you saw uh, some of the, the work I was doing on the umbrella stand, and uh, I ended up redoing that. I, I didn't like the way it came out, and so uh, I went ahead and made some tweaks to the design. Figured out that I could actually do it all in house. Um, and uh, so I did, I, I, I redid it, and so that took me uh, <laughs> late into the night on Tuesday to get done. We were gone the rest of the week, and then uh, yesterday morning we got together, uh, so my daughter and I, after you know being gone all week, we, we kept the, the whole thing going and um, went out into the shop and we built a fire pit. So let's take a look at some video of the fire pit. All right, so our project for this week was a short one, but it's a fire pit. And as you can see, it's geodesic design. And in each of the panels, we were able to cut a couple of different shapes. The fun part about this one, and for those of you who follow me on social media, you might already know is that it's actually itty bitty so rather than because I go to a bunch of different shows bike night stuff like that put my stuff out uh, there rather than toting this big thing around because this thing would actually be I don't know, something like uh, I want to say this is 24 inch pieces or 24 inch uh, width uh, this one is significantly smaller, as you can tell. And so, I also didn't have the hinge on there. I just used a couple of pieces of wire. And you can see how that how you'd have the handle, or, or how you'd um, have the hinge. And I just kind of quickly tacked this thing together because, um, as many of you know, I was out of town most of last week. So, I didn't have a whole lot of uh, shop video for everybody. Um, I did get some cool projects done. And I will do my best to um, to get that out. Uh, I may just do some snapshots and uh, voiceover for you so you can see what we worked on. But basically I had a couple of rush jobs this week um, to do in between being out of town. And both were for, uh, were for displays. So anyways, this is the fire pit. And again, I'll be doing some full size ones here uh, shortly, a couple of different designs, but uh, makes for a neat little way to uh, display it. The other thing is, it was funny, as I talked to people about this, is this being a scale model, a lot of people said, no, this would be perfect for uh, something on the patio table or something like that. You put a, you know, an oil uh, candle or something uh, along that lines in it, and it would be really neat to have you know, just a, a very small one, or even a his and hers. You have the full size one on the patio, and then the miniature uh, on the table. So anyways, we'll see. I don't know that I'll be making any more of the small ones like this, but uh, it was kind of fun. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, scale model of the fire pit came out okay. Um, it's a good proof of concept, lets me know how things are gonna work. Um, I haven't decided yet if I am going to continue doing the design that I have where it's several pieces that are folded uh, together uh, and then welded, or if I'm going to uh, just cut the, the pieces individually and, and weld them up. Um, I think it's kind of six of one, half dozen the other. Me, personally, I, I think I'm probably better at you know, getting it lined up and welded up than uh, spending my time scoring all the different parts and trying to get it bent right. and. Um, I feel like I could probably put it together a whole lot faster 
uh, the other way. So I may make another one of these, even a scale size, because I've got it ready to go, and uh, do it as individual pieces and see how that comes out. So uh, I'll keep you posted on that one. Um, the other project, and like I said, you know, you guys saw some of this uh, the other day was the uh, was the uh, umbrella stand, and I had in the in the last in the last week's video. I had cut the sides, I had drilled a bunch of holes, uh, and that was about all, all I, I got to. Um, as I started getting it assembled, uh, I, I made a couple of changes. The first is I decided to uh, do a pedestal for the base. Right? So I was still working on the idea that I was going to uh, uh, screw the thing together, do it all modular, and um, so uh, I decided instead of a flat base, I was going to do a pedestal base. <clears throat> so the next thing that I did is uh, I realized as I was getting it assembled, you know, I, I had done some test fitting, and so I, I was getting it assembled, and I decided I just I didn't like it. So I went ahead and I recut it, and I welded uh, I welded the pieces together instead of of uh, doing it in different pieces, and so. Um, you know, a little, little sanding afterwards to, to clean it up, because this is our, an artistic piece, and so we wanted it to be, uh, we wanted it to be a little, uh, a little cleaner, didn't want the weld showing, so I, um, you know, went through, sanded, blended everything in, uh, got that going. Um, so, as you can see, you know, in the photos here, that, uh, I got that together, and both of these, uh, this piece and one that I did a couple of weeks ago, the uh, the, the fairy garden uh, stake uh, that I had done, they're both donated to the Saber Fuqua event, which uh, happened this weekend as well. So, um, and uh, so I should have a couple pictures of that uh, available by the time I get this video out as well. So we'll put that in there, and that was uh, that was my week. So. In short, you know, short video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I appreciate all my new subscribers. I appreciate the comments. Uh, if you haven't uh, found me yet on uh, social media, iMetalWork, uh, at iMetalWork for uh, Twitter. Uh, I've got a Facebook page, um, Google Plus uh, out there, uh, got an Instagram too. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week. See ya. Thank you.